Dear professors, good morning everyone. Today we are going to look around few tools that are useful for e-content development. Uh, the first two tools, OBS and ShareX, both are freely available and it can be used in Windows, Linux and Mac platforms. Um, both videos can be saved in the local day, that is in your system or your means in your desktop or in your laptop and the recording time is limitless and there is no watermark in the recorded video apart from these two tools there are few other tools which are uh, commercial but free trials are available uh, the tools such as a powershot cloud app sangit camtasia screenflow goplay screenomatic these tools are available commercially and free trial is available and uh, they have some limit recording time such as uh, 2 minutes to 10 mi uh, 15 minutes and uh, most of the video recording will have their watermark since it is a uh, free, uh, free trial we have the watermark in the recorded video uh, apart, apart from these tools there is one tool called uh, screencastify this tool also commercial but it's not as a separate software to download in uh, our local system it's an add-on program and it should be installed in google chrome browser only not in any other browser and uh, the video which we are making through the screencastify will be automatically saved in google drive uh, the time limit is just 5 minutes and there is also watermark in this video also so today we are going to see about some of the softwares how they are working and what are the merits and demerits of these softwares since we already made a detailed video regarding OBS software we are not going to discuss in detail about the OBS software only thing is that while installing the OBS software if you are using Windows 7 we need to update the Java program um, then only we can install the OBS studio software without any problem in Windows 7 whether basic or ultimate that doesn't matter so we need to update the Java program uh, if you are using Windows 8.1 or Windows 10 version OS there is no issues while installing the OBS Studio software. Yeah, today we are going to discuss about the next freely available software called ShareX. Uh, I, I already downloaded the software and installed it in my laptop. So this is the home screen of your ShareX. So they mentioned the shortcut key. What we have to use for our um, to capture a screen or to capture a video the shortcut keys they mentioned so if i press shift and the front screen button it will automatically start recording the it will start to show a border line you can see like uh, you can see the border line uh, so it, it sets the frame so up to what size the video should be like which frame should be captured we can see here uh, even if I go to my taskbar it will just capturing the taskbar only like you can see yeah so once you fix on it uh, yeah, once you get okay with it then just make a click so it will fix it and it will start recording here we can see the timer is running like the timer is running here we can see it starts recording so whatever we do within this frame it will be captured over here okay since i'm using obs uh, it's recording outer the frame so I will 
just show like uh, after recording using this uh, Sharex I will show the video how it looks you can see a dotted line here so this is the frame which is getting captured over here So I have made at least almost a one minute video, one and a half minutes video, I'm just stopping it. Yeah. Uh, now it shows like where the recorded video is saved. I'm just clicking on it. Yes, you can see the video, the recorded video. You can see the frame which is which was shown. It's recorded only that frame only. So using this Sharex, we can fix the frame up to uh, how much we can we want to record and all. So now I move on to the other things like if you want to capture a screenshot there is an option called capture. So we can capture a full screen or that window size like which frame we want to capture we can capture which frame we want to capture we can capture it and we can capture the monitor the windows full screen just if it shows can see the image the default image uh, when you are opening the sharex for the first time and we are, when we try to record the video the uh, command button is like uh, start recording like shift plus uh, plus uh, print screen so when we press this one it will ask you to download this uh, backup this file called you can see like ffmpg.zip file so it's around like 73 mb so we need to download then only then download and install this one it will it will install automatically then only we can record the video so without installing this one we can't record the video so we just took a screenshot when it's when it was downloading so now we are going to uh, look around the other software called a power uh, shot so it's a commercial one but uh, I just downloaded the trial version and I yeah so once we click on the a power shot so this is the home screen for the a power shot so here we can see like uh, full whether we want to record the full screen uh, so they are asking there, are, there is a arrow mark if you click on it it last for the many options full screen you can select the region or we can fix the region like which uh, resolution we want and we can lock the window so we want to change it and next one is the mic uh, whether I'm using sister mic or any other separate mic since I'm using the sister mic it is the default only cell card selector and now there is a webcam so so this shows the webcam is turned off so you can if you want like you can turn on the webcam if you turn on the webcam you can see it clearly now you can and there are some options like we can auto stop it we can set some timer we can auto stop it and we can task the scheduler so, so there are some extra options which is not available in the freely available softwares so I'm just Uh, there is a 
record button once you click on the record button it comes the opening screen you can see it here uh, it whether you you can buy the VIP member or you can use the trial version so you can record only for two minutes only and if in the free version there will be watermark so that's what it mentioned it's indirectly it's mentioned here so I just click on trial so you can see like it's recording that timer is here running out here so if you want to take some screenshots in between like you can click on here just make a click it will capture the screenshot it will save and it's look in the local drive we can see the main panel if you don't want to see like we can minimize it and we can open any browser or we can open any documents or any thing which we want to display cap open in the display capture So just stop it here. So once you stop it here, you can see here. So at what time it got recorded, and just keep the cursor there. You can see the location where it, the file got saved. And if you want to upload into here yeah, the cloud, you can upload directly from here. Here they shown the size of the file. Here we can see the size of the file. It's 2.6 MB. So if you want to go to that uh, folder, just right click it. There is an option called open folder. Just click on here. Here are the stuff. So the screenshot which I took using that open chart, we can see. So here is the watermark. Since it's a trial version, we can see the watermark here. Here and I'll just play the video that timer is here in the video you can see so there is a water so if you want to take some screenshots in between like we can click on here just and we can I'm sorry Yeah. So now we are going to look around the another software called GoPlay. So if you down if you download and install the GoPlay, it will the name is called Cool Cut. So this is the home page of uh, Cool Cut. So, so it has two options: a recorder and video editor. So we can convert uh, the videos from one format to another format and we can merge it and we can edit. So there are options here and just click on to recorder. So once I click on to the recorder as like uh, OBS, it shows like a display capture that uh, view you can see here so like it's same it's asked like full screen mode or window mode or camera mode like which one you want to capture right now and whether you want to make it like live streaming or uh, recording you want to make whether you want to include your uh, uh, webcam here so if you want to include your webcam here there are options here so you can take a screenshot so here is the option to add a picture in picture that is a webcam picture so you can add some images in this one even you can give some text like I'll just show you can see my webcam here so you can place anywhere else where you want to place we can place it and just keep it here the lower it corner so if you click on recording it will start to record
it's it's not auto recording you can simply minimize it uh, it's capturing the whole display since we kept since we kept as a full screen mode it's capturing the whole uh, images and we can set the resolution also we just before clicking the start uh, start uh, recording we can set the resolution also yeah you can see here you can start keep the resolutions also I just keep it default I'm not going to change anything here we can see the watermark of this software cool cut yeah similarly we can capture any web page or any document whatever you are opening in the display it will get captured uh, we can see the limitations of uh, that cool cut we can record only 10 minutes video so if you upgrade if we upgrade to VIP version then we can record un up to unlimited time so there are three options like browse videos edit on a country record so I just go to the browse videos so it will go to the folder where we uh, where it kept the recorded video yeah. Yeah, hope you can see the watermark here, the cool cut. Yeah. Similarly, hmm. we are going to look out another uh, software called Screencast O Matic. Here you can see the icon. So just double click it. Since I already downloaded and installed software, you can double click it. The screen will open like this. Uh, it has four options like uh, whether you want to take any screenshot, or you want to rec make a launch of the rec recorder, or you want to edit the file which is already recorded, or you want to upload. So there are four options. So there. just uh, click on to the recorder. So once I click on to the recorder, you can see the screen frame which we want to capture we can fix the frame by our wish so there is no issues and uh, it has three options you can see here like uh, one is whether you want to capture only the screen like it will capture only the screen so the webcam op option is went off or if you want to ca capture the webcam so if you click on uh, you want to capture the webcam you can capture the webcam Or else, if you want to capture both the webcam and the screen, you can capture. You can see the frame which is fixed and the webcam option. <coughs> Even if you want to increase the frame, you can increase the frame, that doesn't matter. Uh, so, once it is once we fix everything like before recording, and then And there is an option called start rec uh, recording button you can see here and just click here we can see that maximum time is for only 15 minutes since it's a uh, commercial software the free trial is given only for the 15 minutes only so just click on the record so it will capture the frame the things which come within this frame okay. we can see the recording time it's going on here, uh, this is our college website. Yeah, you can see the thing. So I'll just pass it. And it done. You can see there are three options are coming out. Like one is save or upload, and here we can make a quick share. Uh, we can edit the video. Whether you want to make any customization, you can make any customization. So if you want to make a preview, you can. So the 
things which come within this frame we can see the recording time yeah, is going on the frames which is captured here. within the uh, uh, this is our college website yeah, you can see thing yeah. so once you make it done so i'll just So make it done so there are options for uh, there are three options so i just go to save yeah you can say you can directly upload to youtube from here without any if there is no editing uh, like we can upload to their website that is upload according to the screencast omatic.com or you can save the file So if when you are going to save the file, so it asks for the file format. The default is MP4, and we can change to AVA or FLV, and we can change some give some name like uh, uh, so where <coughs> it asks for the default location. I just kept desktop so I just click publish so it takes time to save people for it yeah just click done once you see the file so you can see the file is saved here yeah now we move on to the uh, app uh, recorder so if you open the google chrome you can see there is a 3 by 3 matrix in the up left corner you can see in, in, in your uh, google google chrome browser that 3 by 3 matrix you can see it shows like uh, apps just click here so once you click so in the lower right corner you can see there is a web store click on the web store so once you click on the web store it goes to that uh, add-on home page of your google chrome so in the uh, search the store just click here just type screen castify make it enter So you can see now the screen castify. Uh, it's around 20 MB software. Uh, yeah, it's an add-on software. So just click add to Chrome. So it asks for it, uh, whether you want to add the extension or not. Just click add extension. So once you click on add extension, so you can see the file is getting downloaded here. It's around 20 MB. Yeah, it's the software is downloaded and it's getting installed to the Chrome. That's what it's saying is checking. You can see. Yeah, it's been added to the Chrome. So you can see an icon, that a screencastify icon. So just so once you install it. Uh, you can see the icon and there are some more steps are there yeah. so so once you click on just make a single click there it opens to the next page so there are three steps the first step is you have to sign into your google So you can see it, it will automatically save the files in your Google Drive. So that is an option. Yeah, like if you want to 
give permissions to gather your camera and microphones drawing annotation tools yes you can uh, if you don't want you can just untick you can uncheck the box so you can see here uh, request of permissions whether you want to, you want to give any give the permissions yes you allow yeah once we done with it and that's it so we install it once the installation is completed for the screen castify in google chrome you can see the icon in the google chrome just make a single click once you make a single click so it opens a small picture the picture in picture option you can see picture options uh, whether you want to record the browser web browser or you want to record the desktop or you can record the webcam only you can have, uh, have the three options and before that you have an information from the screen cast that the video will be recorded for five minutes only if you want to record more than five minutes then we have to upgrade the screen cast software by paying some amount so whatever we record in this uh, screen cast it will be automatically stored in our google drive so when we are downloading this uh, screencastify we used a gmail account to download the software uh, so everything will be so the recorded video will be stored in the g drive that is uh, google drive of the uh, gmail account so just uh, give click record so now it opens a screen you can see here like uh, share which screen like entire screen or any application window if you share like so i'm just sharing my whole desktop just click share just select it and just click share so it it's a count and it start to record now so you can see like just open some folders so once I click on stop sharing so it will be stopped you can see it opens a web page and it's it shows the plays the video you can see the video clearly here now Uh, you can see here so it's stored in our google drive directly yeah it's saying like saving to drive yeah. so if you want to if you don't want to see this video there is an option to delete you can delete the video so if you want to uh, right now it's in your google drive and if you want to share the video immediately to anybody so there is an option copy shareable link you can click on the copy shareable link and we can send to some people whom we want to share this video privately you can share the video directly to them so now we'll just open it next tab so here are the 3 by 3 matrix you can see the drive just click here going to the google drive which this meant for my email ID. Yeah, now you can see the, the video which I made right now. So once I select this one, you can see it's got selected. So just right click once you make it you can share directly so you can get a shareable link or you can share to some people like share yeah you can type the mail if you want to share the video once you yeah given the mail just click send 
it will be sent to the person personally or else you can get a shareable link and you can copy paste the link in some other social platforms like whatsapp yeah you can copy the link right. so you can copy the link and you can give share the link to in some other social platforms like facebook or twitter or like some whatsapp you can share the link yeah thank you